hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is sarah and i do videos all about travel in today's video i will be sharing with you a few things you can do while you're on holiday in Paphos in cyprus number one is the super jumbo boat ride so this boat ride takes two and a half hours which costs 25 euros for adults and 10 euros for children aged two and above this boat ride takes off from the popular harbour in Paphos and you can book this online or just in front of the boat at any time they've got a lot of availability this price includes a light lunch basically a sandwich and a soft drink um, once the boat takes off it stops in the middle of the sea for about an hour so that people who are interested to swim in the sea can do so at this time the slide comes out which was quite nice and also on this trip you get to see a shipwreck which was quite interesting to me as this was my first time seeing one overall i will say it is worth the money and it is a good day out for either a solo traveler a couple or a family i went on this boat ride with my husband and my daughter and all of us had so much fun so i definitely recommend this they were all really nice number two is to visit the tombs of the king so this is like an old burial site where the rich and famous were buried many years ago there are so many different tomes to see and some of them have got like QR codes in them which if you've got internet on your phone you can scan that on your mobile and then it gives you a bit more history about who was buried in that tome. It costs €2.50 to get in which is quite affordable and if you are interested in history or a bit of hiking because you're doing a bit of hiking on this one then this is definitely for you just make sure you wear really good trainers no flip-flops or sandals as the pads are not smooth it is very bumpy and you will struggle if you've got like buggies or kids who do not like walking so also make sure you bring plenty of water as there's no cafe or any shop on site and bring a sun hat make sure you put some sun cream on as well because it is very very hot and there's no shade so you'll be spending a lot of time in the sun and it's quite advisable to go there first thing in the morning or maybe later in the evening when the sun has gone down a little bit number three the Paphos harbour and port this is literally the main tourist area in Paphos it's got loads of restaurants to choose from, a few shops that are selling souvenirs. You can take a really nice walk along the beach. It's a very long path where you can just, it's got amazing views. You find people fishing, there's a lot of street music and there's just so much more. There's a lot going on here in the afternoon and there is plenty of nightlife. We literally went to the harbour every day while we're out in Paphos for a few hours because it was just nice to eat something different and just relax. It, it really has a very good vibe. I definitely recommend this for everyone. So this is where most of the boat trips as well start. So the boat trip that we did left from the harbour so on some of the days it was quite hot so i decided to rent an electric bike um, which you can get for 30 euros for two hours um, that will just help you see more quicker and then a bit of fresh air when you're riding that bike as opposed to walking because i was not just enjoying walking in that heat number four king's avenue mall this mall is located in the center of Paphos. It is very modern and quite impressive. You have a lot of leading international fashion brands, high street boutiques, plenty of restaurants and cafe. You've got a cinema and a kids play area. So there is a lot to do in this mall for everyone. It's very clean and it's just a really nice and conducive place to be in number five which is the last point is visit Cora Bay so this is a lively seaside town on the Cyprus west coast 
has a large banana plantation. It was quite interesting to see just driving down that town. It has really nice beaches, a lot of seafood as you would expect, which was quite yummy. I went to about two restaurants over there and it was really nice. Then a lot of the houses over there were giving Santorini vibes. They were all white and just giving you that really nice vibe. Really, really pretty to look at. So that's something I recommend you do if you've got half a day to spare. So there is so much more to do in Paphos, but we took it easy on this trip and spent a lot of time at our resort resting, which is what we really wanted to do. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.